Hi, Keith Doherty here with Tiger Storm Pickleball, and today we're going to talk about the uh, Rombus. You might have heard about Rombus and many of the different groups that are out there. It's a uh, new paddle company. I've actually talked to uh, the creator, and um, what he's trying to do with this company is to look at uh, pickle pickleball paddle designs that a lot of people like. So some of the most common companies out there, their designs and how they work. And what he's trying to do is is make them a lot more affordable for everybody to be able to use similar technology to get the same benefits, but not have to pay the prices. We all see the prices of paddles going anywhere from a $20 paddle up to the high end, you know, $333 for different, you know, brands have uh, their testing paddles out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the, uh, they have three different paddles. They have the R1, which is uh, the R1.16. They have the R2, which I actually don't have here, uh, but we are doing a review of that. And then we have the R316. So these are going to be very similar uh, to each other from a play standpoint. Uh, it's the uh, raw carbon fiber, so you're going to get the, the, the feel and the touch off of it. Uh, these are 16 millimeters thick. So what that allows you to have is have the control, and you still have a lot of pop with these paddles. So we're going to put them to the test. We're going to come back and give you our reviews and uh, tell you how they play and then let you know how you can get them. Hi, Keith Doherty back here again. So we just finished about a two hour session. Uh, we're training, we're actually uh, doing a tournament this weekend. So we were getting prepared. Uh, so honestly, uh, I've, I've used uh, the paddle that's similar to this. I don't want to throw names out there, but you can kind of see from the shape and the length of, of the brand that, that it kind of matches up to. The one thing I would say that it plays a little bit different than that paddle is it, it does seem to have a little more forgiveness. Uh, it, you can absorb power shots uh, with it being a 16 millimeter core. Uh, it definitely gives you more control, but yet with the with the carbon fiber, you get the pop. The only thing about all these carbon fiber paddles that I do point out to people is, especially if you play in public courts, and I don't know, I kind of come in here on the camera, you can kind of see it gets like there's a ball mark and it gets grit and stuff. So what I do in between points, because what can happen is if you leave that grit, especially in, you know, because you pick them up or outdoors, when you start to hit the ball and that grit builds up, it can actually chip the paddle. So a lot of times in between points and stuff, I'll just take my hand and I'll just, you know, kind of rub the paddle and then brush it off. Uh, CRBN, uh, the brand that, that has its own paddle, they actually came out with a little black eraser. So you take that and you just, it cleans the paddle. But I just, I'll use my hand and just make sure it kind of clears up. But overall, uh, Rombus, I think, is doing a really great thing. Me personally, based upon what I like to play with, um, I like the R1. It's very similar to, uh, you know, like I said, another paddle that's on the market. Uh, it's got the rounded head. Uh, they all play, the, the R3 plays and the R2, they play very similar. Just me personally, I like the length of the handle. This handle's 5.5 and it's a 16, I think it's a 16.4 or 16.5 overall paddle. So it's an elongated paddle. I like the longer handle so I can get good reach on it. And um, I just like the control this has, you know, with the aerodynamic head. But I think any of the R1, the R2, and the R3 from Rombus are all great options, and you should definitely check them out because I think it offers you a great alternative without the high price point. I believe these come in around $149.99, somewhere $150 versus comparable paddles or two, two, you know, two twenty that are out there. Definitely a great deal um, uh, for for what you're getting for a paddle. We just had another lady try one out here for this two hours, and she basically said. She felt she had, uh, she uses Selkirk, just to give you a comparison, uh, a Mach 6. She felt that the, uh, the, R the R1 gave her more control. She had more pop, more control. She actually really liked it. So uh, that's coming from somebody else. The other feedback has been very similar from other people that we've talked to at the park. Uh, they basically said that they really like the feel, the control, yet you still have power. So all in all, I think all the, uh, the round bus pedals are great. The R1, 2, and 3, it's a great deal. Definitely check them out. 